So what we need is a product for VMware. And to get on that site, you need to just type in VMware in your browser, go for VMware.com official site. And you get this page. You now need to log on. And if you've got an account, great. If you haven't, click on my VMware just here. And it will take you to this page. Sign up now. When you've done that, go back to this page. Downloads. Free product downloads. vCenter Converter. Then go to Downloads again. Download now. And it will ask you to log in, even if you already have. Now what you should get at the end of that is this file here. 176 meg. And that's all the tool you need. So what we need to do now is get our Hyper-V ready for it. So this is my Hyper-V Windows 10 machine I want to do. And what I need to know is how much disk space it's actually used inside its volume. So we highlight the machine, the settings, find the drive, inspect it. What's showing here is because I've got a checkpoint that's showing it's only 7 meg, but obviously it's much more than that, so you need to inspect the parent. Clicked it twice, right? So, what it's really using is 50 gig of a 71 gig volume. Now, you don't need a 70 the maximum volume, you just need one to cover the amount of space it's in use. So, if you create, say, a 52 gig drive, that should be enough for this example. And what we need to do now is add a disk. Now, if you've got a spare controller or something that's not in use, use one of them. If not, add another one. So what we need to now is add a hard drive. It's going to be a new one. It needs to be a VHDX file. Perfect size. Let's just browse where I want to put it. That happens to be where my machine is. Now I'll call this one. Windows 10 D VM where dump if you like. Right. Next. How big do you want it? Well we know it's 49, so let's say 53 gig. Take a few minutes to finish that. Okay, so the disk is done. I've clicked apply. Okay, now we need to start the machine. We need to get our VMware converter file. Paste it into virtual machine. Now we need to actually get the volume that we created ready for it. So right click the start button. Go to disk management. I want to make sure it's a GPT. New simple volume. That's a V for now. This doesn't make any difference. Let's go. Close that tab. Now we need to run the installation. 
next, next, agree, next. You want a low call installation, not the client server one? Try that. Couldn't get it to work. Don't want to join the VMware custom experience. Install. No, don't do that. Untick. Finish. Now, you must run this as administrator. Otherwise, it fails. Okay, so it's click convert machine. Powered on because you're actually using it. This local machine. Next. Choose where you want to put the image. Uh, it's obviously automatically chosen D. Um, that's our drive. Okay. Well, I thought it was V. Ah, okay, so <laughs> auto assumes it's a. Th no, no, no. Okay, so select a drive letter. It was clever enough to actually look. And next. Now you can edit these options here, but just leave them as they are. If you've got more than one drive, you can either allow it to convert each drive, or if it's, as long as it's not a, a boot partition or the C drive, you could just copy and paste all the contents into a folder and then copy them over into a new volumes on your on your, your new VMware machine. Because this does take a while. Not. So there you go. We got took 14 minutes to do that, not an hour like it said before. And that's all we need to do with a converter. Let's just go and have a look and see what it did for us. Our volume. So it's created the machine name folder. And there's the volumes. I think that one there is the settings. That's all we need to do. So I would then copy the folder. Open up your machine and look for a, a USB drive. Then we convert. Paste your files in. Take a while. Now, Windows or Microsoft don't allow different sorry, hypervisors or virtual machine emulators installed at the same time. They are talking about now allowing that to happen. So I've only done one VM machine there. Before you can uninstall Hyper-V, make sure you do this for every machine that you've got, and then you can uninstall Hyper-V, and then you can install VMware Workstation. And what I'm going to do is actually use my Razorblade 15. I've installed Hyper-V Workstation on there, and I'm going to then copy this machine that I've just converted onto that, and I'll show you what you need to get it up and working. But if you're going to put it on exactly the same machine as the, where your Hyper-V machines were, you need to obviously uninstall Hyper-V. Okay, so here I am now on my Razor page 15, and that's the folder we created on that conversion process. So I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to stick it into where my VM workstation has been installed. Put its machines. Just paste that. Okay, so let's go and up in where workstation. Now there's two ways of doing this. One a little bit complicated, so I'm gonna do a separate video for that. But the easiest way to do it for this particular demo is just to prove everything works. Let's just open up a virtual machine. Let's point it to our installs. There's a folder. There's a configuration file. Let's just edit that. So, move these serial ports. Copy disk. And we need to add a sound card.
and we need to add a CD DVD drive so we can install VMware tools. And we can change the settings here. Gig. Six processors. Don't need this extra disk we created. It's not it's only an empty disk anyway at this point. So let's remove that. That looks good to me. Play the machine. That's because I haven't got a SATA device in my machine. So you know you don't want to look at it again. As you can see, it's Windows booting up. All I do is I want to lock in. It looks a small window because I'm on a 4K screen. What we need to do is install the VMware tools. So I'm going to do the correct screen settings. So player, manage, install VMware tools. Run the setup. Finish. Reboot. Now I'd uh, shut it down at this point. Well, edit, edit the configuration. Now you go to display. It's now using accelerated graphics, which it would have, would have done before. But allow me to change this. Uh, there you go. OK. OK, 2 gig. One of one of the settings. Options. Uh, it's full screen mode. Play. Display settings. The right one in the end. Key. Okay. It's just proving that the converter works. Issues. The machines you created are version 11 and not 15. So you're not using the latest hardware capabilities that version 15 provides, such as NVMe support, 3G graphics memory support. So you think to yourself, so what can you do? That, my friends, is for another upload. Subscribe to my channel and consider supporting to ensure my content keeps on flowing. There's plenty more to come. Thanks for watching. Bye.